Hello. Uh, this is a demonstration how to do REPL driven development with Claude Desktop and Closure MCP. Uh, Closure MCP uh, is a new tool uh, made by Bruce Holman that provides the LLMs uh, with superpowers for uh, reading, manipulating and evaluating Closure code in your project. Uh, Closure MCP actually has a live NREPL connection uh, to an NREPL server that's running on my project in the background. And it can see all the files in that project that it can evaluate code in that project using the live NREPL connection. And this provides Claude uh, with a powerful way to establish very short feedback loops for itself. Uh, Closure MCP also provides a set of useful prompts uh, that help to uh, help Claude to adapt to the REPL driven development uh, workflow. So I'm going to add two existing prompts here. Uh, the first one is uh, a set of instructions for Claude how to how to do REPL driven development and the second one is a summary that has been generated from my project uh, that gives Claude an overview that okay what what are we working with here and I think we can now get started hi Claude uh, let, let's do some exploration in the REPL Let's do some data exploration in the REPL. Uh, please fetch all the cities from the database and show me the top 10 cities by the latest population figures that we have. And let's see what happens. All right, so we can see that uh, Claude is now picking the tools. So I, I gave it a task and it's it chose to start evaluating uh, code in the REPL. Uh, so it started exploring. It's it's actually listing namespaces and doing doing all kinds of things over there to explore the code base and interacting with it. Uh, Okay, so it, uh, I'm using integrant here, so it figured out that it, it needs to maybe start the system first. Okay, now it wanted to fetch the cities from the database. And now it's inspecting the data. So this is the chatter uh, that Closure, uh, Closure MCP and Claude are, are having. So it does a lot of exploration and what is uh, what is uh, significant here is that it's evaluating a lot of closure code and it's doing that with very quick iterations. Okay, and now it was able to figure out that, okay, here we have the top 10 Finnish cities by latest population figures. All right. Uh, can you please make me a chart of the top 10 cities and um, they're in sport, sports investments. So let's see what happens. So now it runs some closure code. And Claude decides to make an interactive artifact where it actually programs a little HTML and JavaScript. Uh, page. Let's see, this might take a few seconds. So it's actually quite quite funny that Claude may decide to to program utilities for for itself when it when it feels the need to do it, and it's now now doing this using the uh, interactive artifact. Uh, tool that is provided by uh, by Claude itself. 
Okay, so it's actually now building some kind of an interactive chart. I can see. All right, and okay, here we have it. Top 10 Finnish cities population versus sports investment. Investments in with the latest data that we have. So we always get the data uh, afterwards. So that's why we are having relatively old data, especially the financial figures, they come always late. Uh -huh. Okay, and we can we can also see some nice data here. Okay, that's very cool. Uh, okay, ne next I would like to have a Mali schema defined for the uh, for the city stats. Can you help me with that? You can maybe use molly.provider to get started. All right. So molly provider is uh, it's a utility that that tries to infer a schema based on example data. And I think yeah, Claude quite quickly figured out that how it can use it. And now it's trying to generate a schema for me from the from the data samples that we have. So we in the database we have some basic information about about cities and city finance uh, finance statistics for different years. Okay, so it hit some schema errors. And now it tries to figure out. Let me fix the schema crate now. Let me create a comprehensive schema file with proper documentation. So the workflow reminds me of uh, how, how a senior closure developer actually works with code that they you evaluate stuff uh, in the REPL. You check the results and then if you hit any problems you figure out what to do and they try then try something else and the feedback loop is very very swift in here. Okay, so now it probably brought me some kind of a schema. Yeah. Okay, so it actually decided to create the schema schema into, into the proper place. So it created actually a, a new file over there which didn't didn't exist yet. I didn't ask it to do this, but well <laughs> that was what I was going to ask it to do next. So it actually thought already what I was going to do next. And now it's doing some testing and validation for those and okay, and now it's done, and it provides a little summary that what 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 it did do. Okay. So this was a quick demonstration how you can do REPL-driven development with Claude Code and Closure MCP. I hope you enjoyed it.